or 2-2, and here's how it happened here at Scotia Bank Arena in Toronto. He started out aggressive, you know, in terms of uh, Giannis, and you know, getting into the lane, that wall he was able to penetrate, that 3-2 zone. Let's not call it as a wall anymore. What it is is a matchup 3-2 zone. Yeah, but Chuck made this point at halftime. He scored most of his points in transition. When they set up on him, he didn't get much done. No. Marcus Gasol canned that three and cut the lead to two. This was a perfect bench game tonight, Ernie. A perfect other game, however you want to say it. This was a perfect game by the guys, the others on the Raptors. Because Kawhi Leonard, not 100%, but this was a 100% better bench effort and others' effort than Toronto would And let's start seen. saying their names, Ernie, because this is a collective yeah. effort. And, uh, you know, Danny Green, Danny Serge Ibaka, Norman Powell, Fred Van Vliet. Van Van Vliet. Van Vliet. Uh, look, at, look at Nick Nurse. Couldn't believe what he was seeing. Yeah, and here's Van Vliet again, just attacking, allows Ibaka to get the shot. Last game, he would stay on the perimeter, wouldn't even attack and wouldn't allow Abaka to even get that shot off. Abaka's high for this series had been eight. He more than doubled get that, get that 17 in your points and 13 Man, rebounds. I feel and you can see guy. how how gimpy he's coming up after these plays. Yeah, it's, in it's the time playoffs, he, no excuses, yeah. he got it. Anytime he has to explode, Ernie, is yeah. he's feeling it. And what's which weird is he doesn't have any Rap or tape, any rap or tape anywhere, so you don't know if it's knee, quad, hamstring. Yeah. Well, yeah. you saw him, you saw him with the heat pack on the left quad earlier. In but the in game. the last game, he had something on his knee. Uh, yeah. Well, so well he's no been idea. bothered by the left knee right during the season. And we can tell there's something wrong with his legs because some of his uh, 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 jump shots are really, but really short. This guy Powell was, was yeah. big both games here. He's been, a, you know, aggressive, and then Kawhi oh, still can create space. You and knock down the mid-range shot. He can make the mid-range shot. He's just not getting the lift on the three. That's what's Legs. interesting. Even on that dunk we showed a second ago, yeah. Charles, you saw him hang on the rim for a second to come down. That's, that's what gently. Yes. the bank is open, Ernie. Oh, very nice. Yeah, you kind of knew it was your night when Fred Van Vliet's three-pointer went in off glass, and then here's Powell oh, again. That was a head like the people. Played very well. We have a different series now, gentlemen. Well, you know, Shaq, uh, we got an A series, but these Milwaukee guys' games didn't travel. Toronto games didn't, guys didn't travel to Milwaukee, so it's up for grabs now, fellas. 120 to 102. Toronto takes game four, tying the series at two games apiece on Thursday night. In Milwaukee, the tie will be broken. Home team has won every game so far in this series and for the first time in the series the bench battle was dominated by the toronto raptors 48 to 23 wow. on a night they really needed it with Kawhi leonard not himself well number one they were fantastic tonight when Kawhi not being himself but let me just say this going forward the milwaukee bucks are not going to beat the raptors unless they bench get back to being the better bench plain and simple well, how do you be better that's that's the question you have to answer and and for me if you're milwaukee i i think overall there is a a, a defensive presence that isn't there i don't think that they're taking the man-on-man -man challenge to guard powell to guard abaka the way they had in milwaukee forget the offense the offense always comes but defense is something that should be stable and should be warranted every single night defensive effort and i didn't see that in these two games here. I look at it a little different. I have to agree with what Chuck said. Games didn't travel, but this is just two teams taking care of business at home. Milwaukee was down at home. Toronto's down at home. Now we have the best of three. So if Milwaukee can win both the home games, they will win. If Toronto can steal one, they can win. And that and that brings up the question if Kawhi is continuing to struggle physically as he is. Well, Are those others on the Toronto side going to be able to go into well, Milwaukee that, the, and pull something off? That's the key, Ernie, because Milwaukee is still in the driver's seat. Toronto has to win in Milwaukee. Milwaukee does not have to win in Toronto. And I'm concerned if I'm the Raptors because he ain't going to get better in 48 hours. And these games going to pile up on each other because he looked great and limpy in the last game. Tonight, he had zero explosion. 
And you got to wonder how good he's going to be in 48 hours. The one thing, though, Chuck, that they can bank on is they have a slight formula that slows Giannis down. So really, it, it doesn't become an others game. It becomes a game. Well, and, and everyone has to contribute because Giannis isn't being the 40-point Giannis yeah, yeah, but in see, this series this, either. This is why I disagree with you a little bit because of the stats Ernie just showed. The Milwaukee bench was killing these guys in Milwaukee. And now the last two games, Toronto bench has scored. Even as Giannis, that, like you said, your point is right. Giannis is not dominating, but that bench got to play better. They just can't play good at home. 120 to 102. Toronto Raptors have even the series in the Eastern Conference Finals. Going